Aloha, it's Kiana Kayabyab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. In a significant escalation in the Gaza Strip, an Israeli airstrike has resulted in the death of three sons and four grandchildren of Hamas's top political leader, Ismail Haniyeh. This incident marks a poignant chapter in the ongoing conflict, directing impacting one of Hamas's most prominent figures. Amidst fragile ceasefire negotiations, this action threatens to exacerbate tensions. The Israeli military asserts the targeted individuals were involved in Hamas's operations, a claim that intensifies the debate on military actions and their profound personal and political repercussions. Hawaii lawmakers are taking decisive steps to mitigate wildfire risks associated with electric utilities. The legislation now moving through the state legislature aims to enable electric utilities to finance wildfire risk mitigation efforts in a manner that minimizes the financial burden on ratepayers. This move comes in response to the devastating Lahaina wildfire and is designed to prevent future tragedies. Critics, however, raise concerns about the fairness of the proposed financing methods, especially for those directly affected by past fires. Alan Weisselberg, a former executive of Donald Trump's real estate empire, has been sentenced to five months in jail for perjury in a civil fraud lawsuit against the former president. At 76, Weisselberg, once the Trump Organization CFO, faced his second jail term, having previously served 100 days for tax evasion. This development comes amid intense scrutiny of Trump's financial dealings, with Weisselberg's legal outcomes further complicating the legal landscape for Trump and his associates. In a landmark move, the Biden administration has introduced the first ever national limits on PFAs, also known as forever chemicals in drinking water. This significant regulation aims to safeguard public health by mandating utilities to minimize these toxic substances to the lowest detectable levels. Expected to benefit over 100 million Americans, this initiative seeks to prevent thousands of illnesses linked to PFAs exposure. Despite the anticipated high implementation cost, this step represents a crucial advance in environmental protection and public health. In a heartwarming story from Hilo, Rory Inouye, a dedicated math teacher at Waiakea High School, was awarded the prestigious Milken Educator Award along with a $25,000 prize for his exceptional contribution to education. This accolade, recognizing his innovative teaching methods and commitment to making math accessible to all students, marks a significant achievement not only for Inouye, but also for the entire Hawaii Island community. It highlights the impact of passionate educators in shaping the future of our Youth. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.